Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x and y in this nice algebra problem? From here we have x square minus y square equals to five, and from there we can express what we have here on the left hand side as difference of two square, and this will be x plus y times x minus y now equals to five. And we have that x and y are both positive integer. It implies that here x plus y will be greater than x minus y here. Then from here we can write 5 as 5 times 5, or we can write it as 1 times 5. And since we say x plus y is greater than x minus y. Of course, x plus y is expected to be 5, and x minus y will be 1. So this will work. Why this here will not work? Then when we now equate from here, we have the force, which is x plus y now equals to 5, and x minus y equals to 1. So when we solve these two equations simultaneously, we can have to eliminate y, and this will give us 2x equals to here 5 plus 1 that's it then we divide both sides by 2 from here then we have 2 cancel out and x here equals to 3 then also we can get y from the first equation there which is x plus y equals to 5 and that means 3 plus y equals to 5 and then we can say y here equals to 5 minus 3 that is y equals to 2 so we have from here x equals to 3 and y equals to 2. Then let's check from what we have. That is from x squared minus y squared equals to 5. Here x is 3. That's 3 squared. And y is 2. That's 2 squared. It is equals to 5. Then 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9 from here. 2 squared, 2 times 2, which is 4. Is this equals to 5 from here? Then here we have 5, which is equals to 5. And then the left hand side equals to right hand side. And we have, therefore, x equals to 3 here, and y equals to 2. And we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give a thumbs up and put your comment in the comment section see you next class and bye for now